All right, so it just jumped inside the lightning, pulled it outside. Um, if you can see outside here, uh, I know it just looks snowy and cold, but it is actually like extremely cold. Again, uh, colder than minus 40 Celsius. Um, the wind chill actually feels like minus 51. So definitely a great day for this test. Um, we can see just sitting here and I just pulled it out. Um, so we're consuming, um, you know, 99 kilowatt uh, uh for 100 kilometers but that's because we're not going anywhere so as soon as we start driving that will actually give us an accurate range uh or read sorry and then you can see we've got 512 estimated kilometers that really depends on your driving um the slower you go actually the more range you get which is kind of the opposite of how uh traditional um fuel vehicles work so that's interesting but um pushing a lot of wind resistance uh takes a lot of power um, and you can see uh, our battery temp gauge. Again, this was just inside, so that's all good to go. Um, when we come over to these screens here, we go ahead and hit our uh, home button there, and we can go into trip energy, and we can get a really good idea of kind of what's going on. So again, just starting off, um, this is all just showing uh, no readouts just yet, but as we stay outside longer and go for a drive around town, uh, it's going to give us some data. So we'll take a look at that shortly. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so we just finished doing a little drive around town. Um, we went 19.4 kilometers in about 38 minutes, got in and out of the truck a couple times, never shut it off because it is super cold outside. Um, we were burning uh, 49 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And our range estimation has, of course, gone down a whole bunch, 412 kilometers from that 515. Um, although this range estimation is really not super accurate. And you can see our power level really didn't drop barely at all. It's almost still completely, completely full. You can see it's minus 36 degrees uh, outside. Um, so it's warmed up a couple degrees, but still super, super cold. And then if we look here, we can see uh, this trip. So this actually shows I had warmed up the vehicle before driving it for about 25 minutes. So we've been really gone for uh, just about an hour. And uh, in that time, so a higher use of energy because it was sitting there and the climate use is actually what's taking the most. So I'm running the air condition or the heated seats. I'm running the uh, heated steering wheel. We've got the temperature set to high and the fan has been going. I mean, it was on full blast at first and then been going to some extent the whole time. So really the climate control has been just sucking most of our power, a little bit of drive, accessories a little bit, and then outside temperature, still a factor. So 15%, but not as much as maybe you would think at this extreme, extreme cold. Um, and of course that's for the whole trip. And then if we hit trip one, I had reset it to show just the drive and kind of how everything had gone. So uh, minus 40 degree weather actually performed really well. Truck drove well. It didn't uh, sap near as much energy as I thought after running the vehicle for an hour, driving around town, um, you know, putting 20 kilometers on, stop and go traffic, that kind of stuff. So uh Awesome, we will do some more tests like this, but now you have an idea of what happens in minus 40. Anyways, have a great day everyone. Do me a huge favor, click subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you go ahead and hit that bell icon, you'll be notified of any videos I make. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up.